Now here we are going to learn about another synchronization primitive called as the event. Now events can be used to signal other threat that a certain event has happened and you should do something regarding that event. Now you can create the event by using the threading.event class, this one. Now it is kind of like a boolean, it can either be set or cleared. Now we will, there are two methods, mainly the set and the clear method. This is used to set the event and clear is used to reset the event. Now the thread can also wait for some time uh, till some an event has happened. Now you can create the event using my event equal to threading dot event. This will be create this will create a new event and by default it will be unset. So you have to explicitly set like this one uh, to make this thing true. You can also check the status of the event by using the is set method whether the event is set or not it is set it will return true or else it will be false now we will check it using the python interpreter as we import the threading library because event is inside the threading module so we do the import one now we create a new event we will call it my event threading dot event capital E we have created the event now you can check whether the status of the event so it will be not set right now as you can see it's unset now you can set the event by using the set primitive I mean set method so I'm going to set it call the set method the threading event is set now you can check this event whether anything is set or not in a different thread so that can be used to um, change the behavior of the thread depending upon certain condition has been met or not we can for that you can use the is set method dot yes underscore set we have set the method first so this will return us now let's clear the method so this will make the method false so if you run it reset it will give you false this is the basics of an event now we can use that in our programs which i will show you next uh, for example you can make a thread wait for something you can escape from an infinite loop using this one. so we'll go to the code now this is the graphical representation of the program in the main thread uh, we will create a thread t1 it will be this one and we will create an event my underscore event using threading dot event now we will start the thread t1 and then the, there is one function called as my underscore event dot wait now this will check this will stay in the, this particular place until an event is set for example my event has to be set then only this will exit from here and move towards the other section of the code which is written below this one okay so otherwise it will just stay here itself so if you set the event from the main thread this will make the wait function um, unblock and it will allow the code below this one to execute uh, this is useful when we have to do something for example uh, the function t is waiting for something that has to be completed in the main thread for example it has to populate an array or something in the main thread or it has to main thread has to get something from outside so it's taking some time and that thing has to be given to the thread t1 so only after the data is available uh, t1 t function underscore t should execute so we can use this setup where when the data is available on main thread we will set the my even underscore set and then this thing will operate i mean the event dot wait will unblock and the code will execute after the event otherwise it will just wait here till the event is set so this is the code here is the function t 
So we'll create the my event here using the threading dot event. We'll start the thread from here. Then we'll set the my event. We'll set the my event from the main thread only after five seconds. So what will happen is that thread T1 will create and will come here and will block here just like this. It will set the my event dot wait will make the thread T1 block. We have put the my event dot wait timeout equal to zero here. This would make it wait. We also have a timeout so it won't wait forever. I'll tell you why it is required. So after five seconds, uh, this event will be set and this will unblock and this statement will be executed. So I'll run this thing. So we have under T1 and the other one will be set in five seconds. So the event is set. So the line inside the thread T1 has been printed out. Now what we'll do is that we will never set the event. Like we will comment this line out. So the event will be never set and the thread T1 will be left waiting forever. So to prevent that I have given you a timeout which is 10 seconds. So if I run this thing, the thread T1 will run whether the event happens or not after 10 seconds. So it will wait for 5 seconds but nothing is there. So after 10 seconds due to timeout this will come. If there is no timeout this will stay there for all eternity. This thing will never come because there is no timeout. Here we will demonstrate how to exit from an infinite loop using the threading dot event. So for that we will be using the is set method whether my event is set or not. So we have a infinite loop function this one uh, which will print a read from serial port it is not reading from anything it will just print that and it will wait for one second then this is an infinite loop while loop then it will go again and again like that once it has exited from the while loop it will print this one so here inside the while loop there is a check if my event is set it will break from the while loop, it will exit from here and this thing will run. So we will do the same thing here, we will create a my event, this is not required actually. So clearly is not required actually. Now we will create the thread, we will start the thread and we will wait for 5 seconds. So here the my event dots will be set after 5 seconds. So once it is set, they will exit from here and this particular system will, I mean line will run. So I'll run this one. I'll run it again actually. So we have start blue and it started reading from the serial port. Uh, the main loop set the event here so which cause this one if my event dot is set is true then break from the so it exited from the loop and now it then printed this one if this never if you do not set this thing it will keep on running like this So this will never come, even though event set it, I mean that is just the print statement because we are blocking the, this one. So this will keep on going. Uh, this is our website. You can find all sort of embedded system tutorial and products from our website. Uh, we manufacture things like USB to serial converter, uh, USB data acquisition systems 
and isolated USB serial, things like this one. So if you are interested, you can check out our store and you can buy these things and help us to support us. So we also have an online tutorial, for example, TTK Bootstrap, this one. So you can check that one if you want to. All the code are available on our website.